Are you a texter and you want to make sure you don't lose your message history? If you've got an Android phone, you want to get that onto a new Android phone, we're going to show you how to do that in this video, how to move those messages over. If you're using like a iPhone 5, wow, good for you that that thing's still working. You can move those over to an Android phone. If you've got an Android phone and you just bought a new iPhone, we can show you how to move contacts there and vice versa. And then finally, if you're using this thing to send text messages, that, that doesn't even work. This is like for video games. We can't really help you out there. So first let's start out if you've got an Android phone, like a Pixel phone, and you bought a new one and you want to move your contacts over to the new phone. This is the easiest one if you're going from one Pixel phone to another or an Android phone to another Android phone. You swipe down, go to your settings on your phone, and then you're going to scroll down to where it says Google on there. Google. And you want to make sure that you're signing in with the same Google account on the new phone after you do this. You click Backup. So this is, this is the old phone. This is where you want to go. You click Backup and then it says Backup by Google One. So once you back the contacts up in here, it's going to back up your text message history in there as well. So you can click Backup right there. It looks like mine's on an auto backup every day, so it's backed up eight hours ago. And then once you've backed this up, you log into your new phone and you click Restore when it comes to messaging on there. And then make sure you're logged in with the same Google account and you can back and you can restore that from the Google One that you've just backed up here. So that's the easiest method of the options we're going to share. Just like on an Android phone, if you're using an iPhone, you can use the built-in storage to save your message history and then restore it or back it up onto the new phone. So for an iPhone, make sure you're using iCloud version 11.4 or newer and make sure that your iPhone is plugged in and you're on a Wi-Fi connection. From there, you're going to open your Settings app and then you're going to go into the Apple ID settings, which is labeled as your name. Then select iCloud, make sure the iCloud backup is enabled, and then select show all under apps using iCloud. Then you're going to tap on messages in iCloud and toggle on the use on this phone option. And then hit sync now. And once you've got your new iPhone plugged in, connected to Wi-Fi, during the setup process, it'll ask you if you want to restore from an iCloud backup. So you're going to click yes on that and it might take a little while because there's other things going on during the setup process. If you want to transfer messages from an iPhone to an Android, during the setup process on your Android phone, you're going to hit the option to copy apps and data and then hit next. And you're going to need a cable for this so you can use one like this that's got a USB-C on both ends if you've got an iPhone 15 or newer or there might be a lightning adapter, or depending on the model, you're going to have to plug in the two phones so they can transfer data across there. When you get prompted, sign in with your Google account and then hit Next. It will ask you what, you, what data you want to transfer over and make sure that you select Messages so that you get your text messages moved over. Continue through the setup process and you should be good to go. To transfer text messages from iPhone to a Samsung device, you're going to want to download the Samsung Smart Switch app and then open it up and click Receive Data. You can either do that through the cables on there or there's a wireless option to transfer to using iCloud. So make sure you're able to sign in and transfer with that. The Smart Switch app will then search your iPhone. Make sure you select Messages for the data that you want to transfer and you can move those over from iPhone. After you've hit transfer, the transfer might take a little while, so make sure you keep your screen on on your phone so that it doesn't shut down or delay anything in the transfer process. Once you get near the finish, click Next to finish up the process and then disable iMessage so you're not getting any new text messages on your iPhone that aren't already transferred over to your Samsung device. If you want to move messages from an Android phone to an iPhone, you're going to want to download and install the Move to iOS app on your Android phone. Then you'll turn on the, the iPhone, make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi network to begin that transfer process. 
When the prompt regarding apps and data appear, select Move Data from Android. Make sure that you note the security code that comes up on your iPhone so you can link the two together. Open Move to iOS on your Android device next. You'll need to accept the terms, privacy policy, and more. Hit Agree, Continue, Agree, and then automatically send or don't send. Continue, continue, and then continue again. You're gonna enter a security code when prompted. In the Move to the iOS app, select the types of data you want to transfer. Ensure you choose Messages, because that's what you want to transfer. Then you'll complete the setup process on your iPhone. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you want to move messages from an Android phone to an iPhone, an iPhone to an Android phone, you can for your text messages so you don't lose all that history. Unfortunately, you can't move messages from this little game device. I don't think this thing even does text messages. It's like 8-bit. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you again soon.